Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the video. So, today I have another Deal Universe Lua Stripman tutorial for you guys. And so, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can display multiple variables on your screen um, over here. Um, and also, I'll be going over a new update um, because recently Deal Universe got another update uh, where they actually also uh, did an entirely new reskin of the Lua editor. So it looks a way better than it was it was before and it's a little bit bigger actually now uh so um like the little code area is not um as small as it was before but um, with that said as always if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you guys give it a thumbs up and also remember to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and uh yeah so let's get to it so uh, I'm gonna stand a little bit back like this and then press Control L because that's the shortcut key to open it and as you can see immediately it looks way better than before it actually fits now and it looks exactly the same as the rest of the UI um, doesn't matter if it's like for the machinery and all of that stuff uh, as you can see it looks way better than it did before the blue type of style um, is gone and it's now just this dark themed <laughs> um, editor and so it uh, as you can see everything is still the same but then down here by report this is where it will show up all of your errors um, and on the left here you guys will see the buttons uh, looks also a lot better and also one thing if, you, if I click for instance here on door and I come over here to um to filters um you guys will see this menu is also uh, a lot better than before um and another thing is that i noticed is uh, on previously if you had if you wanted to change this to stop uh, you had to actually delete it and then re-add it and then uh, make it uh, stop like this uh, and then make it stop but now i see you can actually just change it to stop if you really wanted to like you don't have to delete it um and uh, re-add it and then change it to start you can just change it over here so uh like so that's pretty cool uh but from that said let's get uh to the main topic of today's video and that is showing guys how to display multiple variables so um as you guys can see over here i still have uh some of the code from one of my uh, previous videos uh, where it just displays uh, the welcome text up here but let's say we want to add more uh, variables uh, to the screen that we want to be uh, displayed um, so the first thing um, I'm just this is gonna be just a example uh, but it could work for anything I'll, I'll have I have a, a few different variables that I'll show you guys uh, that you can display on the screen um, and so I'm going to, for instance, make a local uh, num1 and then I'm going to make a local uh, num2. I'm going to uh, finish these just now. Local uh, num3 and then we're going to say equals uh, 1 and this is going to be equals 2. You, you, guys will, you guys see what I'm, what I'm getting at. Um, and then this is going to be equals 3. And then the next variable that we'll be looking at is um, we are basically going to get the player's ID and then we're going to display your actual player's name on the screen without having, uh, without actually inputting it like this as a string. It's actually going to get our player um, name. Uh, that's currently controlling or that uh, whoever turned on the player controller it will actually show your name um, so let's uh, quickly do that so you're gonna say get local and then say get this is you can name this whatever um, but it is just remember this is only like an example of the uh, of how you can display your um, different variables on your screen using uh, the HTML um, and so then we're gonna say equals uh, unit dot uh, get master player id oops id uh, so 
and then we're going to make another one called uh, local player name and it's going to be equals to system dot get player name and then in here you have to input now this get player id because it uh, for it to get your player's name you need to provide it your player's um, id and this is what this does it goes and gets um, our player's id uh, and so with that uh, the next thing we need to do is you want to come over here to your html so um, if you don't know how to uh, make the uh, or you guys just look how I did this but you basically just um, take uh, HTML like so equals and then you uh, make these brackets like so and then in here you put all of your HTML that they really want so um, let's delete that and so what you want to do is you can basically copy what I did here. Uh, this I'm not actually using, so I can uh, delete this uh, style. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a space here. So usually it's BR uh, in HTML to make a space. And so I'm going to make another HTML tag or H1 tag, sorry. Um, like so and then we want to go like so because we need to put in these brackets if you want to put uh, variables um, uh, that you want to uh, put in the actual HTML you have to close it uh, with these square brackets like so okay, so the, our first variable is going to be num1 and you want to put two dots again and we're going to go like so and then we're going to say double dots so this is just uh, I'm going to put like a semicolon there uh, or you could put if what uh, this is only if you want to put like a space in between the variables um, so I'm just going to do it like so and then I'm going to do num2 and then double dots and then again I'm going to do the same as I did before and then double dots num3 so it's basically you're gonna just display one two three and then uh, we're gonna display our name next to it okay so after that uh, what you can do is if you want i'm gonna in here make it like so um, and then say um, my name is and then like so, so I'm gonna do that and then after that you want to put a space here uh, because you can't uh, make a space um, like outside of these um, or like in the variable itself so you want to just put a space there or if you want it to be next to it you can whatever uh, floats your boat um, and then with this one we're just gonna say player name and then double dots like so, or well, if if this is the last variable you want to display, uh, you can you don't have to add uh, double dots there. And so with that, uh, this should uh, now dis uh, display our welcome uh, right on top, and then it's gonna display one, two, three, and then it's also gonna go and get our player ID, and then um, with that our player name variable is gonna then go and get our player name. Um, using the player ID that we're getting here so now if I click apply and I deactivate and reactivate it it should update whoops uh, I see I have a error what did I miss uh, player 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 did I miss though, something oh I got Okay, so you do actually have to have the double dots there. I forgot about that. Yeah, there you guys go. Uh, basically, I have still have our welcome thing up there, and then we have one, two, three, and then my name is Warmaster Twenty One Forty Three. So, um, 
that's gonna do it uh, for this video guys um hopefully you guys found this helpful and this is basically uh, what you can do this will work for any kind of thing or any type of variable you want to display um on your screen uh, you can uh, do it this way um now depending on what you want to get uh, you either need to use the unit uh, if it's a function in a unit um, you need to put the unit in front uh, but um yeah so uh, this is the basic way of displaying multiple uh, variables um all right said if you guys enjoyed it uh, give it a video a thumbs up and if you didn't a thumbs down and also remember to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and i'll see you guys in the next one